Hey guys and welcome back. In the previous video we saw how to load multiple excel files from one particular location that um, matches certain criteria by using wild match load. Well, um, I got some questions on how do you loop through different sheets. So I thought I'd just get back into it. This is the previous one. If you haven't seen the previous video, like just check out the links in the description below. Let's see how we could loop through different sheets. So in the previous video, different months were stored in different files. But in this case, we have the sales from different months stored in different sheets. So here I have Jan, Feb, March, and so on. So I want to load one file and then loop through all the different sheets instead of having to load each of these, instead of having a load statement for each of these sheets. So let me show you how that would be. So when I go and check out my file here, I have this Jan, Feb, March, and if I click on each of them, well, there's a load statement for each sheet. It's just one Excel file. Why do we have so many different load statements for each sheet? That's crazy, right? So we could change this and just have one load statement and then loop through the different sheets. So how do you do that? I'm just going to insert it here. Good. Then I'm going to say, well, this is still our Excel data. Good. And Essentially, what I want to do is loop through the different sheets. And we know that sheet names are Jan, Feb, March, because each of the sheet has the sales for different months. Good. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say for each sheet name in, and then I'm going to create a list. And the list is the names of the sheet. So I'm going to say Jan, so now I have a list of all the sheet names and we're going to loop through it. So we say for each sheet name in these are my sheet names. Then I say load Excel data. That is the name of my table. Good. And then I'm going to over here say from which Excel file. That is the same Excel file here. And which table? Well, this is the sheet name, right? In this case, it's Jan, but instead of this, what we want to replace this is with our for loop condition. That is for each sheet name in my list of sheet names. So the first time it is Jan, that is correct. But the next time I want it to be Feb. So over here, instead of hard coding this, I'm going to change this and call this as our sheet name. So I'm going to say here, this is nothing but dollar expand whatever is stored in this function slash variable, right? So whenever the for loop is executed, your different names have been stored here for each of each run of the for loop. And in that case, the first run, I want this sheet name to be whatever is stored here, then it's this, then it's this, right? And then I'm going to say next, load it to see if it works. And now if you see here, we see Jan has been loaded, Feb has been loaded, March has been loaded. So pretty much everything that's in my list has been loaded and we are looping through this till we have one particular file with all the data in it. Super cool, right? Now I go much more in depth uh, into different scenarios. For example, if you have sheet names with number and sheet and how to do that in, um, uh, in the course and the link is down below. So check, check that out. But otherwise, I hope this is super helpful for you. So. Please leave a like, super appreciate it. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, peace.